All right, YouTube, what is going on? We have a new video here, episode 14 of the off season. What is that now? Seven weeks? Seven weeks of the off season, technically. Kind of wild. It's going by pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie, but just gotta take my honey because I'll explain why. So I'm already sweating balls because A, it's 92 degrees here on this fine Wednesday. And also because, like I said in my last video, we changed some things in my program. <sighs> if you know what that is, I have to start doing zombie squats before my deadlift days. The reason for that is to pre-fatigue me for deadlifts. We have done this in the past. Back in the arson days before CNATS, I used to take high bar and then I would do my deadlift day. So we're just doing the same thing. So that's one of the reasons why I am kind of forcing what's, not forcing, I'm taking what's there on the day because we're gonna have some, I mean, it's gonna be relatively light per se, but just the idea of working the legs an extra day more so, just have to listen to the body more than anything. I'll explain the other reason on Friday when it happens, but that's the case. But today we have a very easy day. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Just gonna take what's there. We have a double at six, fatigue single at six, and a two by six at six to seven. Pretty, pretty easy. And then we got some new accessories, which I'm pretty hyped about, not gonna lie. Another reason why I'm gonna be wary of what's going on with the body and everything, because we're changing some things, adding some things. So there's definitely gonna be fatigue in other places. <sighs> well, I'm sweating fucking balls right now, so. Let's just get to it and sweat even more balls. Pause. Oh my god. Not new here, you know. We have if you're new here, we got bench. Yesterday's deadlift session. Let's 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 go into the the mind of Marcus here. What was I thinking? After it, I thought that that deadlift session was kind of mid. Okay, and it was not my best work. But then I looked at it again, like when I was home, and I was like, Yo, that was kind of that was kind of good. I think I'm just like in my head about the changes that we're making to deadlift and emphasizing a hinge more and trying to get those hips in a very stable position and not moving. And I'm just like completely thinking about that. Like, like, the, like obviously the weight is gonna take a little hit because we got to get used to it, but like the strength is technically still there, right? So I was just in my head about it. So I'm just like, whatever. Isaac said it was very, very good. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm a little too hard on myself right now. And that's my issue. I'm very hard on myself, if you didn't know. So, today we have a very, very easy bench session. I have my pre-exhausting Larson triple at six. Yes, triple, not double, triple. Four by four at five. And then we have close grip feet up Spoto. Awesome. So. If you guys didn't know, my bench volume is significantly high for some people. Why is that? Because I'm able to take it, okay? I have longer arms, so it takes a little more for me to actually get a groove on, actually be able to improve on my bench. So I have to 
do more in order to get more out of it. Whereas some people, like my good friend Brian, um, he has short dinosaur arms, so he doesn't have that much bench volume, but he's still able to progress a significant amount, seeing that he's probably going to bench 200 at regionals in like two weeks. So we'll see how that goes. I'll be there in support. But yeah, um, it's already hot as fuck in here. It's been 80s for the last like three days. We just, like I said, New England just loves to skip the season, but uh, we're not a weatherman. We're here to work, so let's get to work. Welcome to the Friday. So, fun fact, we are back to SBD days. Yes, and we are also not doing any other squat variations. So I literally have comp squats twice a week now. No high bar, no pause, no tempo, no, no nothing. I was really like, okay, you know, it kind of sets the pace. So it sets the pace for the block, but obviously, needs to take what's there. And with that being said, it was this. Very happy with it. I, I feel as though the pop I had on squats is back. So just that that push that I used to have on squats. That everyone started knowing me for. I think it's back. I'm happy to say that. So it's it's good to see that we're going into the right direction with everything. So I think I can confidently say if everything goes right. This will be a block to remember. So, that being said, I'm gonna be smart about everything, no matter what. But, I'm very happy with how we're doing. But we still got a bench, and we also got a deadlift. I'll get there when I get there. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy already. So, let's just keep this shit going. Bench was super, super easy. Had a three by four at five, so nothing crazy. If you're listening to the background right now, my favorite band just dropped a song. It, not a song, a whole album. AKA, Bring Me the Horizon. So, I need to give it another listen, but like, I love Bring Me the Horizon no matter what, so I'm just gonna like all their shit and dick ride like crazy. Pause, no ditty. Anyway, but yeah, bench was super easy. Now we have stiff leg deadlifts. I haven't done these in years years so we'll see how it goes i know the point of it so incorporating these on top of deadlifts is going to obviously bring some emphasis but we'll see i don't know uh, i'm just going to take a light i mean it's a two by nine at five but let's just that's the case so uh let's just get to it Going to keep this short and sweet, but we are at the end of this YouTube video. There wasn't a lot of talking. There's a lot of changes, I would say, this block, and I think I wanted to focus on getting those changes as best as I can and seeing what the body was going to react with in with those changes and everything. I definitely got my pop back on squats, so I'm very, very confident in 
where squats can go this block. I'm also confident in where a bench can go this block as well. And deadlifts. I'm I'm just overall I'm confident in this block and I'm confident that confident that I'm going to show a lot of what I'm capable of in this next couple weeks, especially with me being so far out and I don't really have to focus on a meat prep. I can just focus on the, every single fucking day and just go by that. In my next YouTube video, I will be discussing some exciting news I have. I'm also going to be discussing something that I don't think gets talked about a lot in terms of being in the gym and kind of just grinding and just working out in general and training and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that as well. And then we are also going to be going to Coliseum on Monday to hit up the greatest gym in New England along with See the Boys and their last heavy week before they go hit the platform on regionals. So I'm excited for them. But yeah, that's really all I got. Short and simple. That's how we like it. Expect some bigger things this next coming weeks. That's all I got, man. So if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Get your protein in. Never fucking settle. And I'll see you guys in the next one.